Peace and blessings. Thank you for joining Tribe Bukurim on this daily prayer and Bible reading journey. We will read through the Bible using the one-year Bible reading plan and end in prayer. Today is August 5th, and we will be reading from Ezra chapter 1 verses 1 through 11 and chapter 2 verses 1 through 70. 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verses 18 through 31 and chapter 2 verses 1 through 5. Psalm chapter 27 verses 7 through 14 and Proverbs chapter 20 verses 22 through 23. Let's begin. Ezra chapter 1 verses 1 through 11. The Proclamation of Cyrus. Now in the first year of Cyrus, king of Persia, that the word of Yahweh by the mouth of Jeremiah might be accomplished, Yahweh stirred up the spirit of Cyrus, king of Persia, so that he made a proclamation throughout all his kingdom and put it also in writing, saying, Thus says Cyrus, king of Persia, Yahweh, the God of heaven, has given me all the kingdoms of the earth, and he has commanded me to build him a house in Jerusalem, which is in Judah. Whoever there is among you of all his people, may his God be with him, and let him go up to Jerusalem, which is in Judah, and build the house of Yahweh, the God of Israel. He is God, which is in Jerusalem. Whoever is left in any place where he lives, let the men of his place help him with silver, with gold, with goods, and with animals, besides the free will offering for the house of God, which is in Jerusalem. The exiles plan their return. Then the heads of fathers' houses of Judah and Benjamin and the priests and the Levites, even all whose spirit God had stirred to go up, rose up to build the house of Yahweh, which is in Jerusalem. All those who were around them strengthened their hands with vessels of silver, with gold, with goods, and with animals, and with precious things, besides all that was willingly offered. Cyrus restores the holy vessels. Also, Cyrus the king brought forth the vessels of the house of Yahweh, which Nebuchadnezzar had brought forth out of Jerusalem, and had put in the house of his gods. Even those did Cyrus, king of Persia, bring forth by the hand of Mithridath, the treasurer, and numbered them to Sheshbazzar, the prince of Judah. This is the number of them. Thirty platters of gold, one thousand platters of silver, Twenty-nine knives, thirty bowls of gold, silver bowls of a second sort, four hundred and ten, and other vessels, one thousand. All the vessels of gold and of silver were five thousand and four hundred. All these did Sheshbazzar bring up, when they of the captivity were brought up from Babylon to Jerusalem. Ezra chapter 2 verses 1 through 70 the list of returning exiles. Now these are the children of the province who went up out of the captivity of those who had been carried away, whom Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, had carried away to Babylon, and who returned to Jerusalem and Judah, everyone to his city, who came with Zerubbabel, Jeshua, Nehemiah, Sariah, Realiah, Mordecai, Bilshan, Mizpar, Bigvi, Rehum, Baana, the number of the men of the people of Israel, the children of Parash, 2,172, the children of Shephatiah, 372, the children of Ara, 775, the children of Pehath Moab, of the children of Jeshua and Joab, 2,812, the children of Elam, 1,254. The children of Zatu, 945. The children of Zakai, 760. The children of Bani, 642. The children of Bebai, 623. The children of Asgad, 1,222. The children of Adonikam, 666 The children of Bigvi 
2056. The children of Aden, 454. The children of Ader, of Hezekiah, 98. The children of Bezai, 323. The children of Jorah, 112. The children of Hashem, 223. The children of Gibar, 95. The children of Bethlehem, 123. The men of Netophah, 56. The men of Anathoth, 128. The children of Asmaveth, 42. The children of Kiriath Aram, Kephira, and Beeroth, 743. The children of Ramah and Geba, 621. The men of Migmas, 122. The men of Bethel and Ai, 223. The children of Nebo, 52. The children of Magbish, 156. The children of the other Elam, 1,254. The children of Haram, 320. The children of Lod, Hadid, and Ono, 725. The children of Jericho, 345. The children of Sanea, 3,630. The priests, the priests, the children of Judea, of the house of Jeshua, 973. The children of Emmer, 1,052. The children of Pasher, 1,247. The children of Haram, 1,017. The Levites, singers, gatekeepers. The Levites, the children of Jeshua and Cadmiel, of the children of Hodaviah, 74. The singers, the children of Asaph, 128. The children of the porters, the children of Shalom, the children of Ader, the children of Talmon, the children of Akub, the children of Hatita, the children of Shobai, in all, 139. The Temple Servants The Nethanim The Children of Ziha The Children of Hasufa The Children of Tabiel The Children of Keros The Children of Sayaha The Children of Padan The Children of Lebena The Children of Hagaba The Children of Akub The Children of Hagab The Children of Shamlai The Children of Hanan the children of Giddel, the children of Gehar, the children of Rhea, the children of Reason, the children of Nicoda, the children of Gazam, the children of Uzzah, the children of Phasia, the children of Besai, the children of Asna, the children of Meunim, the children of Nephesim, the children of Bagbuk, the children of Hakufa, the children of Harher, the children of Basluth, the children of Mehida, the children of Harsha, the children of Barkos, the children of Sisera, the children of Tima, the children of Neziah, the children of Hatipha, descendants of Solomon's servants, the children of Solomon's servants, the children of Sotai, the children of Hasophoreth, the children of Peruda, the children of Jaela, the children of Darkon, the children of Giddel, the children of Shephatiah, the children of Hattel, the children of Pachareth Hazabaim, the children of Amai. All the Nephinim and the children of Solomon's servants were 392. These were those who went up from Telmila, Telharsha, Carib, Adon, and Emmer. But they could not show their father's houses and their seed, whether they were of Israel, the children of Deleah, the children of Tobiah, the children of Nicoda. 652. Priests removed. 
of the children of the priests, the children of Hobeah, the children of Hakos, the children of Barzillai, who took a wife of the daughters of Barzillai the Gileadite, and was called after their name. These sought their register among those who were reckoned by genealogy, but they were not found. Therefore were they deemed polluted and put from the priesthood. The governor said to them that they should not eat of the most holy things until there stood up a priest with Urim and with Thummim. The Full Number and Possessions The whole assembly together was 42,360 besides their male servants and their female servants, of whom there were 7,337, and they had 200 singing men and singing women. Their horses were 736, their mules 245, their camels 435, their donkeys 6,720. The Exiles' Offerings some of the heads of fathers' houses, when they came to the house of Yahweh, which is in Jerusalem, offered willingly for the house of God to set it up in its place. They gave, after their ability, into the treasury of the work, 61,000 derricks of gold, and 5,000 minas of silver, and 100 priests' garments. So the priests, and the Levites, and some of the people, and the singers, and the porters, and the Nephinim, lived in their cities, and all Israel in their cities. 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verses 18 through 31 For the word of the cross is foolishness to those who are dying, but to us who are being saved it is the power of God. For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise. I will bring the discernment of the discerning to nothing. Where is the wise? Where is the scribe? Where is the lawyer of this world? Hasn't God made foolish the wisdom of this world? For seeing that in the wisdom of God, the world through its wisdom didn't know God, it was God's good pleasure through the foolishness of the preaching to save those who believe. For Jews ask for signs, Greeks seek after wisdom, but we preach Christ crucified, a stumbling block to Jews and foolishness to Greeks. But to those who are called, both Jews and Greeks, Christ is the power of God and the wisdom of God. Because the foolishness of God is wiser than men, and the weakness of God is stronger than men. For you see your calling, brothers, that not many are wise according to the flesh, not many mighty, and not many noble. But God chose the foolish things of the world that he might put to shame those who are wise, God chose the weak things of the world that he might put to shame the things that are strong. God chose the lowly things of the world and the things that are despised and the things that don't exist that he might bring to nothing the things that exist that no flesh should boast before God. Because of him, you are in Christ Jesus who was made to us wisdom from God and righteousness and sanctification and redemption that as it is written, he who boasts, let him boast in the Lord. 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verses 1 through 5 When I came to you, brothers, I didn't come with excellence of speech or of wisdom, proclaiming to you the testimony of God. For I determined not to know anything among you except Jesus Christ and him crucified. I was with you in weakness, in fear, and in much trembling. My speech and my preaching were not in persuasive words of human wisdom, but in demonstration of the Spirit and of power, that your faith wouldn't stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. Psalm chapter 27 verses 7 through 14 Hear, Yahweh, when I cry with my voice. Have mercy also on me, and answer me. When you say, Seek my face, my heart said to you, I will seek your face, Yahweh. Don't hide your face from me. Don't put your servant away in anger. You have been my help. Don't abandon me, neither forsake me, God of my salvation. When my father and my mother forsake me, then Yahweh will take me up. Teach me your way, Yahweh. 
Lead me in a straight path because of my enemies. Don't deliver me over to the desire of my adversaries, for false witnesses have risen up against me, such as breathe out cruelty. I am still confident of this. I will see the goodness of Yahweh in the land of the living. Wait for Yahweh. Be strong and let your heart take courage. Yes, wait for Yahweh. Proverbs chapter 20 verses 22 through 23. Don't say, I will pay back evil. Wait for Yahweh and he will save you. Yahweh detests differing weight and dishonest scales are not pleasing. God, you are our eternal source. Whatever we stand in need of, you are able to supply. We thank you for always being faithful and loving towards us. We give you all the glory and acknowledge you as the sovereign, holy and great God. You are great and greatly to be praised. We recognize you in your power and ask your forgiveness for anything we have said, done or thought that was unpleasing to you. Create in us clean hearts and renew right spirits within us. Bless us with knowledge, wisdom, understanding, maturity, discernment and focused minds. Take away any thoughts or feelings that are not in alignment with you. Open our eyes to the wonderful things of your law and make it an engrafted word in us. May we live lives according to your will. Denounce our sinful nature. Lay our sins at your feet and walk in obedience to you for your glory. Abba Father, we come before you asking you to stir up giftings in your people. As you open the eyes and ears of our understanding, showing us who you have called us to be and what you want us to accomplish, may we answer your call and walk in your divine purpose for our lives. Take away in distractions designed to keep us from walking in our purpose. We present our bodies as living sacrifices to you and ask that you make us aware of your presence and what you are doing in the earth today. Cover us with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Keep our physical bodies, our nation, homes, modes of transportation, places of employment, bank accounts, credit and investments and communities safe from all hurt, harm and danger. Expose and obliterate anything that dares to come against your people. Bring complete and total healing to our minds, emotions, and bodies. May your perfect will be done in the earth. We pray this prayer over ourselves and everyone connected to us in the matchless name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. May the Shalom peace of God follow you for the rest of your days.